Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. It's Mitchell Renz here, and we got some breaking news to discuss. The Las Vegas Raiders have gone out, and they have signed running back Damian Williams. So coming up here on today's show, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I think the Raiders signed Williams, whether or not it impacts Josh Jacobs or not, and then what type of running back this organization is going to end up getting. Now, obviously, I'm not at the studio. I'm at home today. I am off because the Raiders, they play the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday, which I'm going to be live for. So make sure those notifications are on. Make sure you're subscribed because we're battling the 49ers report. We're going to be taking them down. So literally, the news just dropped early this morning. And I'm not too surprised because Williams came in for a visit. And over the past two weeks, realistically, since training camp has started for the veterans all the way back on July 25th, the Raiders have brought in a multitude of running backs. They brought in some bruisers like Benny Snell Jr. And they brought in some other pass-catching running backs like a Damian Williams. When you go through and you look at the overall history, let's call it, of Williams. He's been in the NFL since 2014, where he predominantly played with the Miami Dolphins from age 22 to 25, but then he played for the Kansas City Chiefs, where he was able to win a Super Bowl, and honestly really helped out that team quite a bit, especially in the passing game. Now, when I look at running backs, I always look at workload, and Williams does have quite a bit of years, but has never really been a heavy workhorse back. In fact, his career high in carries in a single season is 111, but what he's going to be able to bring to this team is the ability to catch the football. Last season on the Atlanta Falcons at age 30 years old, had only one game and only one game started. But what do we look for for this organization? We look for relationships, right? And the relationship here with Damian Williams is maybe there's a little bit to do with the fact that he played in Kansas City, maybe. To me, I see 2021, I see the fact that he played with the Chicago Bears, and Chicago Bears, Champ Kelly, he's the assistant general manager here with now the Raiders, so he's working in ties, he's probably worked with Damian Williams, and the fact that they had a little bit of a relationship, they got the preseason game coming up, that's the reason why this signing ultimately happened. So what I want to know right now down in the comments section is this, when you had the news come out, and I want a one-word reaction. What was your reaction to the Raiders going out and signing Damian Williams? My answer here is depth. And there's going to be a lot of people out there that, and I'm already looking at social media, and this is why I love social media. This is why I love the Raiders overall, and it's why I love this fan base. It's a passionate, passionate fan base. But this is literally only a depth move, right? Because when you look at the Raiders' current running backs, you have to think about, okay, what happened in the last week? Austin Walter, a pass-catching running back. He recently got put on IR. He's done for the entire season. To me, that's what Damian Williams is right now. He is your Austin Walter replacement. They have a preseason game coming up. Obviously, Josh Jacobs has yet to show up for training camp. He has yet to sign his franchise tag. I talked about earlier in the week that I received some bad news potentially around Jacobs. But let me make this very, very clear. The signing of Damian Williams has absolutely positively nothing to do with Josh Jacobs. Do you got it? You got it, Chuck? He's a little mad at y'all because we were getting ready to go on a WALK and, well... Now i got to make this video here real quick. Shout out to Chuck down in the chat. No, but really, I mean, this, this move has absolutely nothing to do with Jacobs. But the reason why the Raiders are making it right now is because if they need an extra running back for Sunday, they don't want to have to risk an injury to... I mean, Zamir White's going to get some carries. I don't know what's going to happen with Britton Brown. He's been battling some injuries. Since you're McCormick, he was on the IR last season. He's going to get some run this upcoming game. Then you got Brandon Bolden. We already know what Bolden is at age 31. So I believe that this is a move simply for depth. And it's simply to help this organization get through the preseason. Because you got three games. And if you do have a situation where you're not going to have your star running back in Jacobs, you want to have as much depth as humanly possible. So I know I kind of already answered this question in terms of does it have anything to do with Josh Jacobs? No. It doesn't. It has zero to do with Josh Jacobs. We good? We got that cleared? All right. I'm glad. 
Now, in terms of the running back that Williams is going to have, and it's really shitty timing on my part because I literally just dropped a video on Raiders running back or Raiders depth chart breakdown where I kind of you know go through and look at it all. Do I think that Williams is going to make the 53-man roster? No, I, I don't see why you would keep a back like Williams on your 53. He's not better than Zamir White, not even close. Realistically, the backs that I would say he reminds me the most of on this team, you already have a Brandon Bolden. And Brandon Bolden's going to be making over $2 million this season. If it was up to me, I'd cut Brandon Bolden's ass, save $2.3 million, and use that two point three and invest it in the defense. But hey, you know, what do I know? Um, but to me, I look at Williams, and he's going to battle it out for one of those final running back spots. To me, if you keep Josh Jacobs, these are going to be the running backs that I keep. I keep Josh Jacobs. I keep Zamir White. I keep Amir Abdullah. I will keep Jacob Johnson because of the season Jacobs had. So because of that, you keep Jacob Johnson, and then I would keep Sincere McCormick. Those would be the backs that I would keep. If I was running this team, those would be the backs I would keep. So overall, you're keeping four running backs, and you're keeping a fullback. However, I'm thinking about what McDaniels and Ziegler will probably do, and I would imagine that they're probably thinking right now, hopefully Jacobs is here, right? So hopefully it's Jacobs. Hopefully, and then it's Amir Abdullah, then it's Amir White, and then they'll probably keep Brandon Bolden. And then after that, I don't know if there's an answer. Like, they like Sincere McCormick. He's not a lock to make it. They drafted Britton Brown last season. He's not a lock to make it. So they got Damian Williams here on the backfield. He's going to add some extra competition. And if there's one thing that I will give McDaniels and Ziegler a lot of credit for this entire offseason, it's they have been preaching competition, competition, competition. Why? Because it gets the best out of your players. The Raiders won practice yesterday against the 49ers. Because to me, they've been battling it out the entire offseason already. So, yes, Damian Williams has got some playoff experience. Yes, Damian Williams has a Super Bowl ring. Yeah, he's played in the AFC West before. Yeah, he's got some connections with Camp Shelley. Camp Shelley. Uh, Champ Kelly from back in 2021. But overall, though. This is simply just a depth move, and it has zero to do with Josh Jacobs. Now, what I do want you guys to do is show Damian a little bit of love here. I'm curious to see how he is used this upcoming week in the Raiders preseason game. Another friendly reminder, yet again, that we will be live for that game, and we're battling the Niners all week. We've been battling them in a sub battle. We're going to do a super chat battle this upcoming week, and we're going to get going for that live action on Sunday, an hour before kickoff. So the game gets going at 4 p.m. Eastern time, which means I'll be live 3 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday on the Raiders Report. If any other news happens, I got you covered. I'll break it on down. With the signing of Williams, though, I do believe now the Raiders have to move on from a player. I, I, I got to double fact check that, but I do believe another move will have to happen. And usually the Raiders like to make those moves closer to 4 p.m. Eastern time. That's all the time I got for you guys today. I got to go take Chuck out for a little walk. You got to see my apartment here a little bit. From me, hey Chuck, from Chuck, hopefully you guys have a great day. All right, y'all, if you're looking for more Raiders videos, click that subscribe button right here because we got you covered. And then if you want even more content, I actually got a little box here. I know, you're tempted to click the box. Click on that bad boy right there for even more silver and black content and then even more Raiders videos if you're like, you know what? This guy's actually not too bad. He knows the shit. Click that button right there. It, all day silver and black. Cheers to all y'all. I got to get out of here.